and Mark Simmons. I'm here with George on the set of White Powder. George, who do you play in this film? Uh, Big Ron. And what's his role in the film? Uh, it's well, basically one of those kind of roles where it's it's not like, uh, not like a, a kind of a pivotal role in respect to the size or quantity of the role. But um, uh, he's a very important character in that it's his gear that's been nicked. And um, he feels that um, it's someone close to him who's done it. So um, as much as he's in control of things, he's very paranoid when we first introduce him in the film. And um, he's very pinnacle in sort of like creating the chain of events that kind of happen you know, from his appearance in the movie. So. Okay, and uh, this scene you're doing here with Chris Fosh, uh, yep. what, what's that all about without giving too much of a plot away? Sure, um, I've got to remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like to uh, yeah, basically he's just telling Chris's character, um, D.I. Bennett, he's just telling D.I. Bennett that he's been, he's been ripped off and he feels it's someone close to him. Uh, Chris's character is very laid back, um, uh, you know, but, I think in, in yeah. even though Chris's character's a copper and my character's a um, kind of high-ranking underworld guy, they're very they're good mates and they and they work together. But Chris's character is kind of devoid of responsibility, but he can still get things done. And I think yeah. and that's basically what it seems about. He's just he's telling them someone screwed me over. Chris is telling them not to worry about it. And we'll get it sorted. Okay. And um, how did you hear about getting the role for the film? Do you know what? They must have been really desperate because I was recommended. <laughs> so hey, that's always a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Recommended. No, that's uh, yeah. I was recommended. I was recommended by. Um, well, I chap I worked with Chris, um, he, we worked together a few years ago on a film, yeah. really great guy, and, uh, and um, basically um, he just pointed him in my direction and um, sent me the, the script. I liked it, and it was good, and uh, what I really liked was Zico's approach to the movie in that <clears throat> I think a lot of films, um, you know, a lot of films that go down the gangster genre, they tend to be, yeah. um, I don't know, two dimensional. They tend to be uh, everybody's a tough guy, blah, blah, blah. This film's got um, a lot of layers to it and a lot of different characters. So, you know, there's, and, and also Big Ron, he's fallible. You know, he's, he's got, whereas he's got strengths, he's also got, um, he's a, and he also gets pissed off with ringtones. Yes, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I, get, I, I normally, no. I normally get this stuff like that. No, 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 I'm joking. But he's, he's fallible, and that's what's yeah. great about him. He's not invincible, you know. And yeah. and, that, and it's the silly characters to play, really, unless you're a superhero. So, okay, George, thank you very much. And cool. uh, you got some more scenes to do, I assume. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, let, let's just converse that. You've been drinking whiskey throughout this, or brandy, throughout the scene. Is this correct? Or yeah, I feel very alert for some reason. <laughs> Don't really okay, know. See, authenticity for everybody. George, thank you very much. That's no, cool, man. Have a good you. day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.